Okay guys, welcome to the Catfish Kitchen. Today we are making pickled red cabbage. It's a pretty slow process, takes about eight days to do it before you can eat it. Most of that is just waiting, but the biggest part of it is, look how beautiful that is, huh? Look at that. The biggest part it's just cutting it up. Getting the, the prep work is what takes the time. Uh, you can use food processor or whatever you want to use. I just use a knife. How big you cut it totally depends on you. I like something about this big. I see the commercial stuff. Very, very fine. At least what's available here cut very fine. I like something a little bit bigger than that, something like that. You know, not too long. Cut it in half. You see that? Because it doesn't get any smaller. This is, this is what you're going to be eating. Okay, now this is going to look like a lot of salt, but it's really not. Just mix it all in, make sure there's salt on all surfaces. It's a good chance to break up any big pieces. And we'll just keep layering it in. Salt as a go. It is important, I think, <laughs> to not use iodized salt, so any good quality this is a quite a coarse salt, a good quality salt, and a sea salt or something like that would be best. What we'll do is salt this down, cover it, and put it in the fridge for 24 hours. What the salt does is uh, draws out a bunch of water and helps keep the cabbage crispy. Let's see this, we just take those bigger pieces apart. It's all random sizes, you know. Looks good to me. You cut yours out, you want to eat it. There she is, ready for the fridge. I just cover it over with some clean wrap or something. I don't know if you can see or not. This side already starting to sweat, huh? This is the one I just did. It's amazing uh, how it sucks the water out, but we'll see that tomorrow. We'll see how much water's in the bottom of the bowl. 24 hours in the fridge. Okay, 24 hours is up. It's time to put it in the bottles. As you can see, I got a variety of uh, recycled bottles. Most of those have been used dozens of times, I think. Let's see if we can see how much water is in here. There's no water added, right? Just cabbage and salt. See that? That's what the salt does. Draws the water right out. Now, we need to get rid of the salt and I do that this way just a little bit at a time and rinse it off I like to pack it down as tight as I can. But only to the to the neck here. You want to be able to have the liquid and the brine to cover it. Something like that works for me. I'll show you one more 
on a bottle without a label. <laughs> So here's what we got, 12 and a half bottles. Now here in Thailand, a bottle of this size, half a liter, costs about six US dollars. All of this together, the brine, everything, it's gonna cost about six US dollars. So I get 11 free bottles by doing it myself. And that's not comparing the taste. So it is a huge, huge savings, that's for sure. And uh, I guess it depends on the brand, but I think this one's pretty good. Okay, time to make the brine. Okay, in the pot we have water, vinegar, sugar, and salt. And unlike most brines, there's very little salt or very little sugar in this. We don't need to boil it, we just need to dissolve the salt and the sugar. So we're just making it warm, that's all. Get everything dissolved. Then we let it cool and then add it to the bottles. We don't want to make this hot, add it to the cabbage, you start to cook it, right? I think we're done. You have to uh, give this a bit of a shake to make sure it goes down. You just need to get the bubbles out. You see the bubbles coming up. Now this <laughs> this brine normally makes enough for about 10 or 11 bottles, so I'm probably going to have to make a little bit more. But it's very easy to do. And it's very easy to make just a small bit, you know. Very easy numbers to work with. I got enough for ten and a half bottles. Or maybe it was eleven bottles. Almost made it. Now, a good way to get the air bubbles that are trapped between the cabbage is just to push on it. See them come up? Now since these are just going in the fridge, there's no worrying about sealing the jars or anything like that. There's uh, very little sugar so the jars aren't sticky. I keep this in the fridge for a week. Some recipes uh, call for three days, five days, seven days. This one is uh, five to seven days. I always go seven days. It just, it, it's what works for me. Beautiful, right? Well, there it is, guys. It's actually done, all except the waiting. Like I say, we'll give it a week in the fridge, and then we'll do a taste test. Make sure she's good to go. If you're in a rush, three days probably be okay. Five days should be ready. But I like to go. I like to go seven days, personally. Okay, taste test time. There it is, that's the alpha bottle. I put more vinegar so it's bleached out a bit, more pink.
but very nice. Mmm. It just adds a nice crunch to everything, you know. Nice flavor, a little bit on the vinegar, vinegar sour side, but very nice. Check out this mushroom. I always thought it came out of the ocean. <laughs> it looks like something from the ocean. But it's a mushroom. It's called a uh, Uno <laughs> Mouse Ears. A mouse ear mushroom. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Like I say, I should have sampled a different bottle because this one is a little bit pinker because I put more uh, more liquid in the bottle bleached it out a little bit but still it tastes the same very good still crunchy it's still got the same texture as a uh, raw cabbage and that's what the salt does that's why uh, a good quality salt is important. Mm, that's good. <laughs> Very good. Alright guys, well there it is. Pickled red cabbage made at home. Very easy to do. The recipe is very easy to uh, to scale up or down. Like this is a quite a lot, you know. You make twelve bottles, that's quite a bit, especially when uh, it's not being sealed. You've got to keep it in the fridge, doing it this way. But uh, it's very easy to scale down if you only wanted to do one or two bottles. Quite easy, no problem. And uh, if you're interested in making this, the link to the written recipe is in the video description, as always. And uh, thanks for watching. I think you should give it a try, it's very good.